foiling in the America's Cup started on a little lake uh, in the middle of the Waikato, Lake Arapuni. Thinking back to the beginning of 2012, it was a time before simulator use where Emirates Team New Zealand was looking through that particular rule at the time. Um, one crazy idea that the team had was that we needed to lift this AC-72 catamaran out of the water, something that had never ever been seen before in the America's Cup history. And how do we actually do that? Basically, we got on the water, we didn't have any sails, we towed the boat with a ski boat and learned how to foil. I remember the first day we uh, towed the walker. We had a few of the sailing team there, a few of the design team there. Everyone was quite eager to see how this uh, you know, pretty agricultural platform, if you like, was, was going to perform. And um, you know, we had a few stops and starts, but eventually got the boat, boat going. And with the angle that you're towing, the boat was so efficient getting towed, you're actually way out the side of the, of the ski boat. So you're effectively looking at the boat almost side on when you were towing. Um, we eventually got to the stage where we flew a hull and then ultimately later that day actually got the boat hop, skipping and jumping out of the water and some of the early foils were uh, not very heave stable, um, pretty loose and out of control, um, but much better to test that on a small tiny platform being towed by a power boat than doing it at an AC-72 scale. And after a couple of weeks of, uh, of tuning and dialing in and then some more foils built over the next couple of months, we eventually got to the stage where we could actually tow the boat and it would pop out of the water and fly stably. Some of those evenings where you'd sit around the table um, knowing that you were pioneering absolutely new ground um, in the America's Cup and in foiling multi-hulls and foiling boats at that particular time it was a pretty special feeling um, sitting there with the boys and the designers and the sailing team really knowing that you had actually and would part off such a special period of America's Cup history in the making and eventually we put that technology, we put that testing if you like into use uh, on our SL33 catamarans for testing and then ultimately build our first AC72 catamaran with fully foiling in mind. Um, we, we knew that we could do it and we knew that we had to push hard and push big because ultimately we could see as a group that foiling was absolutely the future of the America's Cup.